Before you leave, you must take this past the Lubong. Awesome. It's a headband and a strong fighter one called Fighter 50. Awesome, you thank don't, you. No worries, man. I'm driving this guy to go somewhere. Well, back to Bohol, so <laughs> nice one. And when you're watching it, no worries. I borrowed Tito's car and he's got a fighter one and a headband, a fighter 50 and a headband. And that's all you need in life. Actually, no, that, that's not true. You can need lots of water too. Yeah, maybe coffee. Maybe coffee, <laughs> water, it's the morning. <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> Pretty cool, he's got a bat egg. Okay. Alan, before you leave, tell me something in Bisaya. Umbach. Umbach, jump. jump, yep. Hadlock, scared. Hadlock, scared. Lag, lag. Lag, lag? Adventure and explore. Yeah, wander, wander around. Alright, get out awesome. of here, man. See you later, dude. Cheers. Take care. <laughs> that's cool. So, that's my buddy Alan. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm starting this video with that, Actually, he was visiting for three days. He was my Kuya Kori from Canada, uh, my brother's uh, good friend. And he was in Bohol, so he popped down to see me and Kumar. Uh, Kumar's at his house right now, so he's not here to say goodbye, but he sent his regards. I think it's time I do a little bit of an update, because I just spent two months on the road. You would have seen a lot of adventure videos, so I kind of want to share with you what's happening, what's going on, and uh, my life. This is Kai Gindioro. Alan is gone. Let's do this. <laughs> it's my old street, Rungai 29, Kegi and Dioro. Uh, I just shot the car off at my Tito's house. I'm walking back, I gotta get home now. Oh, what is that, man? <laughs> that kid's driving an electronic bike. Anyways, I've spotted something. I want to see what the price of mangoes are first. Yeah. I geek in. Hey, look at that. The local kid. <laughs> I'm just getting some mangoes, uh, 16 kilo, so. That dog is really angry, man. <laughs> Walk around, okay, Bye, come on, I'm big, mate. Yeah, come on, I can't walk around, Kegi and Dior without people yelling at me. <laughs> Surreal. Alright, give a It's like the heart of uh, Kegi and Dioro. There's actually a lot of history in this place. A lot of people kind of tan by here and dance or practice or chill. Some birds right now feeding. Um, it's actually quite nice. Uh, you know, when the city keeps it clean, this place is really cool. So I think what I'm going to do is just, uh, I'm on my way home. I'm going to fly the drone so you can take a look at it.
See you, Chris. Bye, bye, Chris. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> he kept running after me. He wanted to be on the camera. Uh, it was nice. I bought six mangoes earlier for 60 pesos, a 60 kilo. And then I gave three to the kids there. They're still chasing me. <laughs> bye, bye, guys. Super friendly. I'm back. Yeah. So, oh, Kuya is going to stop. He did. Nice one, Kuya. That's a good taxi driver. <laughs> All right. Balik Balai. Mission Balik Balai. Take it, take it, game. I'll selfie you first. I'm gonna yeah. selfie Kuya first. It's your Pagadian. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Good. <laughs> yeah. Yes, thank you, Kuya. Take, take care. Take Bing. So that guy's from Pagadian. Um, I don't really like to show that part of my life very often, but uh, here in Mindanao, that happens a lot. So a lot of people just stop me for photos in the street. That guy's from Pagadian in Mindanao. Bye. It's okay, bye. I'm a back light. I'm Boko. <laughs> and Bing, bye. Oh. Siggy, uh, Siggy, game. YouTube, we'll see it right here. Siggy, game. All right, take care of you. <laughs> he wants you to post that on YouTube, so that's why I'm gonna post it. by Yes, you can take a photo. Hello. All right. Up here. All right, we're taking pictures. Goodbye. back home um, <laughs> the local guys are already yelling at me running up to me local kids check it out okay 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 ready okay three two one pogi <laughs> yes pogi where's your pogi I see my pogi pogi <laughs> thank you mate. okay 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 long take care okay yeah, I have my local community here. Everyone's <laughs> rad, man. Okay, love I? That's a good It's Sunday, no Domingo. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, look at this. Peso, peso. <laughs> why, why do you have a peso? <laughs> no way, look at that. <laughs> Gabby, always the bodyguards, man. Let's see what happens to bike. Fixing? Starting. Ah, starting. All right. I've made it back home. is absolutely disgusting <laughs> hey if you want to know why I like to wear an undershirt it's because I like to walk and in the Philippines if you walk for long distances expect to sweat so the skin catches it all um I made a bath and I hang this up hang it up later it's amazing hey I, I think I just walked for about 30 minutes I almost went right across the city in Kagan Dioro uh, my home here in Mindanao it's a big city but it's actually a small community and uh, you can get across it pretty fast and if you notice there as well, uh, a bunch of different people are interacting with me. Um, I didn't show too much of it on camera because uh, sometimes, you know, in those moments too, I just like to interact uh, first and foremost, just person to person. But um, one thing as well is in Divisoria, the heart of the city, uh, those people you saw in the drone shots who were sitting with me in the end and waving and smiling, turns out they live on the streets. So I was talking to them and. Um, Again, I, I hope that uh, people here, you know, in the Philippines you'll see it a lot. You'll see a lot of people who are struggling, who have difficult lives and who maybe live on the streets. Um, don't, don't ever stereotype them in a negative way. Uh, you know, if anything, just interact and learn and uh, try and share some positive vibes. That's all I was doing there. And actually that kid, Chris, who was running at the end there, um, you know, I hope that our positive interaction, you know, maybe gave him some sort of inspiration or, or made him realize he's awesome because he was. He was super cool. We were chatting a lot. Um, in Visaya, uh, which you didn't see on camera. And I was so pumped because I got those mangoes, 60 uh, pesos a kilo. I got six mangoes, so I gave the kids mangoes there before I left. Um, okay, what's going on? Today is actually May the 20th, and 
As you can see, I'm in Kaiki and Dior, and earlier you saw a guy named Alan. That was my brother's good friend, and I was giving him his pass to Lubong. If anybody visits me, if you ever come and see me in Kaiki and Dior, and we hang out and we roam around and adventure, expect to get fighter wine and a headband as a pass to Lubong. That is my pass to Lubong for anybody who visits. Uh, Alan was here for three days, and actually, we originally weren't going to do any videos, and then we ended up making two. So you're going to see two videos. The next two videos are going to be uh, my Kuya's friend Alan just coming here visiting. Um, yeah, Kumar is on his way. He's not here yet, so he's coming because tomorrow we're actually going to Cebu. So I'm using this video right now to give you a few life updates. We're going to go to Cebu for two days to do the Cebu Pacific event. Um, then we're going to come back, hang out for a bit, and then I'm actually going to Davao and Tagum on the 26th, 27th of May to do a meet and greet at the two NCCC malls. Uh, if you noticed uh, by following me on social media, uh, you would see that I'm the endorser of Rossini backpacks. So you might have seen as well in the past, remember what happened about a year ago to, actually almost a year ago to the day when the Marawi incident happened? Uh, Rossini stepped in and gave me one of their trucks and donated a lot of backpacks and helped me in my fundraising and, and that's one reason why I'm very proud of them and I'm super stoked to just go and do this meet and greet so I think I'll make a photo pop up now that shows it's a funny photo of me I look like a child but I will be at Tagum City at the NCCC Mall on the 26th and then dabble on the 27th just to hang out, meet and greet, give away headbands you know, have good vibes and so if anybody watching this is from Tagum or Davo, come say hey um, yeah, after that, something big is going to happen. But I'm going to wait for Kumar to hopefully come through that door over there. And uh, before Kumar comes though, you didn't see this, but on my walk home through Kegian, I also found this. It looks like a strange custardy pizza. Look at that. It is called Sapin Sapin. It's a rice-based merienda. Look how colorful it is. Mmm, it tastes good. So, so I'm gonna eat the sapin sapin, wait for Kumar, maybe give him a mango when he arrives, and we'll do some more life updating. All right, I can spin in this chair. Hmm. One second, bro. Sally Glong. Sally Glong. Oh no, one second. Hold up, Brad. Go! Good, Brad! Aha! Mangoes! Mango de Cebu? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, because we're going to Cebu. That makes sense. What's this? What are you doing? I thought you were going to copy the uh, panorama shots. Yeah, I'm going to. But you're part of this vlog I'm making now. It's not vlog. What about? It's an update vlog. Oh, here. <laughs> you got to take the mangoes. Did you get a haircut? Oh my gosh, you are gonna haircut this no one is What? Yeah, why not man? This is why I had to make this update life vlog. Kumar has got a haircut. He's looking pokey because we're going to Cebu soon. And now he has the mangoes. Are you gonna do the special way? Or are you gonna uh make did you want this mango? On my street, Bungai 29. Lightning in Ulan! What are you doing, bud? Ice cream. What about the dogs? Trying to train it to sit. No. Sit. Sit. What type of ice cream is that? Oh, you use the mangoes. Mango and avocado. Oh, you put the mangoes in avocado ice cream. That is legit. Alright, so it started hammering down rain. So we're gonna do our life update sitting outside the house. Uh, well, Kumar eats mango, avocado, ice cream in a rain and lightning storm. If a lightning bolt crashes down on us, that wouldn't be nice, so don't do that. Oh, wow. Lightning crashes, man. Crashes of the lightning, man. Um, okay, so we're doing adventures in June. The rest of May right now is like Tambay. We're going to Cebu for a Cebu Pack thing tomorrow. And then I got to go to Davao uh, and Tagum. Kumar would be coming, but he's doing um, 
It's the 40th day. 40th day, right? Yeah. The, uh, Shumad, his, his father passed away, if you didn't know that. Um, I wrote it on Facebook before, so um, yeah, we're not going to talk about that right now. But basically, it's the 40th day after his father passed away on the 26th, so he's going to go to the cemetery, right? Yeah, he goes to the cemetery. Um, celebrate. Wait, celebrate, celebrate. Bring it on. It's, it's true, actually. It's one thing that's very, uh, very cool in the Philippines. So even in death, Filipinos celebrate, which is very cool. Okay. But what? Whoa, you can see the flashes, man. That's scary. Um, okay, what's gonna happen is in June, we're doing something. What are we doing in June? Secret. The secret. But in yeah. June, you're gonna see a bunch of different vloggers come to Mindanao, and Kumar and I have a special plan, a special trip. It's gonna be a big adventure. So that is a big update. Um, we had two months of adventures. Um, Kumar wasn't in all of them. You remember he left before. That's because his father passed away. Again, if you didn't know. Uh, John John's back in England. You're going to see two videos of Alan. The next two. And that is pretty much... Do you have anything to say, man? No? That's it? I'm you just got... enjoying my ice cream. Yeah, the lightning storm. You got, you got a haircut, dude. Kumar single. Kumar is single. Don't sell me. I'm selling you. Kumar single. Date him. And look at this lightning storm. Goodbye. Okay, get your own now. Dude, it's really flashing, man. Kaboom! Whoa! Holy smokes! I'm waiting for the big bowl. 